my old school soul food family. Hold on, y'all. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, this is Vlogmas Day 12. 12th day of Christmas, y'all. We almost through. We halfway through this battle, y'all. Halfway through it. And I'm doing something today. As you can see by the video title, they don't require no cutting on the stove. It's going to take maybe five minutes to do this. But 20 minutes, about a couple of hours in the refrigerator. And we all grew up on this, especially in the country. You ever had them buffets, smorgasbord? My mama used to call them steam table buffets. Back in the day, you had this dessert on it. <laughs> well, if you had Luby's, Piccadilly, Furs, Wyatt's, <laughs> uh, what they call them? Uh, 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 what's the one now they going out of business? Luby's, any one of them cafeteria, even them uh, hole in the wall buffet places, they had this on the buffet, dessert. Or a salad. It's, it's really a cross between a salad and a dessert. Old school Watergate salad. Some people call it, uh, uh, it's another name people call it. Oh, I cannot think, y'all. I'm having brain cramps here. But I call it Watergate salad. Uh, very simple, very easy. I only have to step away to get this thing started, y'all. All the dang in it, everything is store bought. You ain't got to put no mixer. You don't have to do nothing, y'all. Just put everything in the bowl, mix it together, and let it sit in the refrigerator a couple of hours to set up. And you got your nice water gate salad. So, with all that being said, yeah, I'm making a lot of noise today. I don't even have my chef jacket on. I ain't even bother to put on my chef jacket today, y'all, because you don't even need it. Because it's so quick. I said, why even bother to put a chef jacket on for this one? So, anyway, let's get started here. I got some Stasio pudding here, instant jello pudding. We're gonna pour in here. Put that in there. Like I say, y'all, this is so easy. You know, I love this stuff, pistachio pudding. I think the only reason I like it, only thing I like it in is actually this. I don't think I've even eaten it, pistachio pudding anywhere else except in this, uh, in this dessert. Okay, y'all. We got some uh, crushed uh, pineapple. We're gonna pour that in there. The liquid and all, y'all. Juice and all. We ain't draining it. Doing nothing. You know what? We ain't got time to do all that, y'all. We don't have time. It's Christmas, Christmas Eve. We need one more salad to go on our buffet. So this is what we gonna do, right? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stir that up in there. Get that all stirred up in there. Look how pretty and green that is, y'all. Pretty and green that is. And those little brown things, y'all, don't don't fret. That's the end of the pineapple. That's all that is. People gonna say, what is that? That's ugly looking. And that's the end of the pineapple. Some people they ain't never cooked before be saying that. Okay. Now next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little coconut in here. You can put whatever you want in this really. I'm gonna do it kind of the classical way, y'all. If there is a classical way. We're gonna do it how they do it. Put a, little, put a little coconut in there. If you don't like coconut, by all means, don't put no coconut in if you don't like it. Put what you like. All right. Now we're gonna put some chopped pecans in here. We're gonna put some marshmallows in this thing. We're gonna make it our own, y'all. We're gonna make it our own. Put about a cup of a cup of marshmallows in there, probably more than a cup. Pull that in there. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. Yeah. Goodness here, huh? Goodness in there. Okay. Put a couple of pecans in there. If you don't like pecan, don't put the pecans in there. I'm gonna put some chopped pecan pieces in there. Not about a cup, y'all. Throw them in there. There we go. Roll them up in there. Look at the goodness there, y'all. I'm gonna only use one of these Cool Whips, y'all. I guess I'll take the other, since I got so many Cool Whips, I guess I'll take the other one, just eat out of the, out of the bowl with a spoon. Y'all don't judge me. Y'all know y'all do that too. 
I know y'all in the middle of the night can't find nothing to snack on. You go in there and stick some Cool Whip in there and you get a, you get a spoon. Some of y'all even close the refrigerator. Y'all just stand right there with the refrigerator open, eating a Cool Whip out the, out the bowl with a spoon, don't you? Don't, don't, don't lie. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna fold this in, y'all. This was gonna have it set up. Fold this in here like this. That's what's gonna make it nice and light and creamy. Get it mixed really, really good, y'all. Really, really good. Of course, as the pudding sets up and the Cool Whip sets back up, We'll have a nice and flaky Christmassy looking. We're gonna have green and red. I'm gonna show you what red is in just a second. Okay, we're gonna get our bowl here. This is my banana pudding bowl, y'all. And that bowl out, I usually just be making banana pudding with that. Okay, we're gonna put it in our little bowl here. How easy that is, y'all. Spread that around like that. Now, I'm gonna be right back in just a second, and I'm gonna show you how I garnish this up, y'all. Man, really make it look festive. We'll be right back. Alrighty, y'all. We are back here, y'all. It's so easy here. Okay, we're gonna make this thing look festive here. We got some maraschino cherries here out the jar. I rinse them really, really good. Make sure you rinse them really, really good. Or my mama say, rinse them. Really, really good, so that so the red doesn't bleed into your your uh, salad pudding slash. I just like to put a little corn hands around here. You know, people eat with their eyes, y'all. Even me. Because uh, I'll tell you one thing. Chef Jeffrey, come over your house. Your food don't look good. I ain't eating it. I'm just kidding, y'all. I just put some pecans around there like that. There we go. Move those back a little. Back up in there. That's a little there. Put a few right here in the middle. I mean, y'all can just play around with this however you want, y'all. There's nothing, no science how you do it. Get in there and just make it, you know. Looks somewhat decent, like somebody want to eat it. Okay, now, we're going to go in there with the cherries. Like I say, y'all, try to, try to, uh, make sure you rinse your cherries off. There go. Did I miss one? I missed one and I missed one right here. Put that one right there in the middle. Now, there's one right here I missed. Okay, now we're just gonna go with it. A little coconut on here. A little coconut right here and right there in the little space right there. It's gonna be like a little snow, huh? A little snow on there. You don't want to cover up your, you don't want to cover up your pecans. And that's it. <clears throat> now we're going to put this in the refrigerator, y'all, for like, I'm saying three hours or so, maybe an hour minimum, and let it set up. And then we'll come back, and we'll get a bowl of this, y'all, and we'll relieve our childhood, y'all. Old school Watergate salad, block was day 12. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, y'all, let me get a scoop of this out of here, y'all. Stuff is so, so simple to be so good, y'all. Look at that, look at that, look at this, y'all. Look at that there. Something that simple to be that good. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be like that. So let's go in. Let me go in here, y'all. Just mind me of my childhood, look at that. And it's so easy. Mm. 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 
wall. I'm telling you. Your kids are lovely. Your kids will absolutely love this. So creamy, light, and you can add or subtract anything. You don't like nuts in it? People let you get nuts? Don't put them. You don't like coconut? Don't put it. Uh, if you don't put dried cranberry, dried cherry, make it your own, y'all. I'll just give you the simple canvas here. Very simple, you see how easy it was to put together. It don't take long to set up, a couple hours. You can do this Christmas Eve, Christmas morning. And put it in the refrigerator, by the time noon time roll around, you got you a little dessert side at best. So anyway, y'all, Blockman's Day 12, just getting finished here. And close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Vlogmas Day 12, done.